You're here already? I didn't know we were doing it right now. Just kidding, I do this shit on my own. I set the camera, Avi, I know we're doing it right now. Welcome back, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ernest Adiano. If you haven't been here yet, or this is your first time watching, browse around, take a look, see different videos, vlogs, edits. This is gonna be a new thing, this new series. I guess it's a series, I don't know what to call it. But if you like what you see, stick around, subscribe. I would ask you to like this video, but why the f would you like this video? You don't even know what it's about yet. I hate when YouTubers say, we need 50,000 likes in order for me to give away whatever. If you don't like this shit, don't like it. That's fine, but subscribe and stick around. You might like the other video. This series is gonna be called this week on my Facebook. People, they post some of the dumbest shit sometimes on Facebook. Makes me laugh, makes me go, same. We're gonna get into some of the dumbest posts that I see. We're gonna get into some of the coolest posts that I see, things that I agree with that I'm like, I love this post. And I'm glad Facebook has the little heart so I can express to you that it's more than just like. It's more than just like on this post. It's love. All right, so since this is a new series, we're gonna start off kind of slow. We're gonna ease our way into these Facebook posts that people put as real, but I think that they're memes. Are they memeing me? Do they mean to be posting this shit? I can't tell if my friends are trolls or idiots. First one, pop, right here. Daniel Cormier, I think that's how his name is pronounced, is easily the boringest champ in the UFC. Did this dude just say boringest? South San Antonio High School ISD let this man down. They let him say boringness so the entire internet can see. I feel like I failed you. I feel like I failed you. Let's move on to the next one. We're gonna put that one right there. Okay, so asking for a homegirl, if you go to DOS, Department of Safety, for an ID and have a warrant, she means warrant, she corrected herself, but still spelled it wrong. Do they call the laws on you? If this ain't the most motherfucking Southside San Antonio post I've ever seen in my life, you're trying to get legal advice on Facebook about your homegirl having warrants? Bruh, in the comments, yes, this bitch has a suspended license. Her license is suspended because she doesn't pay her tickets for what she has the warrants for, but she's trying to go back to get her license without paying the tickets that she has the warrants for. They're gonna be like, hey, while you're here, we might need you to fork out that $1,500 in, in cash that you owe us from not paying parking tickets and not knowing how to hit the brake pedal. That's her friend, who I assume is probably from the South Side as well. Two for two doing us right. We straight repping all the time. But this one, which is gonna go dead center. Nah, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, push that maybe like right there so that way you can see me in the corner. It's a it's a shared post from local news. It says, big headed babies are more likely to be intelligent. And then this new mom, congratulations on the new baby says, okay, he gets it from me, ha ha ha. Now it makes sense, he has a big brain. Are you already cracking bad mom jokes? Is that something like as soon as the baby shoots out of your vagina, you're automatically prone to making bad jokes? That's a clickbait title if I've ever seen one. That's gonna make every brand new mom or every brand new dad, more likely mom, because this is some stupid shit moms would post, but they're gonna go, oh, let me share this post about my kid being smart for having a big head, even though 99% of all children who are born have big heads. If you're proud of your baby and having a big head, congratulations on being the stereotypical norm for a baby. Next, let's go ahead and put this one right here. Salted watermelon, would you try it? Are you trying to tell me that salted watermelon's gonna taste like shit? It's not like you're asking me to put toothpaste on top of watermelon and eat that like it's a dare. If you're not putting salt on your watermelon, the fuck out of here. Next, this one. This one gets me every time I read it. I'm stuck in this house, so I'm going off on dumb post. Bruh, you're talking shit about how you're stuck at home and you're so bored that you're gonna go off on people's other people's dumb posts and you can't even grammar check yourself to make sure that you put the correct pluralization. Your post just became dumb on its own. Are you, are you gonna be going off on your own post? Because you should. The best thing about this post is that his homeboy right under said, just like you do at a buffet. If anything, his homeboy went off on his dumb post. He didn't go off on anything. Grammar matters, people. I hope you realize that. Next, here we go, right here. They blocking people for posting this, but in Taylor, Michigan, near Detroit, just got hit with a missile. 
they trying to cover it up and keep us calm by telling us it was just a meteoroid. Stay woke, people. This just happened not too long ago. Share beforehand they blocked me and erased this. <laughs> I shed a tear for the amount of brain cells that I lost when I read that for the first time. Boy, if you don't get your conspiracy theory, Illuminati believing, Bitcoin cryptocurrency is the future as in I'm making a million dollars by investing five, ass up out of here. No one's trying to get you fam. No one cares about your stupid Facebook profile. They want the big shit, if it's even a real conspiracy, which it's not. Meteoroids are real, fuck out of here. Why? Why, why you gotta do stupid things and make me mad? <laughs> Next. Bruh, this one. I'm divorced. Finally. If you don't get your south side oversharing your personal business ass up out of my Facebook feed, I'm gonna go over there and freaking break your phone. I swear to God, I'm gonna get you back on a flip phone from Samsung that had the little mirror in the front so that way you could see yourself. You ain't taking selfies, but at least you can see yourself since that's the only reason you really take selfies. You post them, but they're really for yourself. Get your oversharing ass off of my Facebook feed. Next. Bruh, now this one, right here. I hate these. This is a Facebook anomaly. So if you don't have Facebook, you might not know what I'm talking about, but this shit is annoying as fuck. If you are reading this, leave me a GIF about something that makes you think of me. Then copy and paste to your wall so I can leave a GIF of you. Don't just put a GIF and not copy. That's not any fun. You wanna know what's not any fun? This fucking post is not any fun. I'm not about to search through a fucking millions of gifts to show you how I, what I think about you and then copy and paste this stupid post onto my feed and ruin my reputation? Fuck outta here. Next. All right, this one's not too bad, but Oprah wasn't made in one day. Keep pushing. Oprah was made in nine months, just like the rest of us. And the doctor probably told her mom, keep pushing. Got him. Next! I feel better. Talking shit for me is like a cathartic release. It's like this weight has just been lifted off of my shoulders. This boulder on my shoulder gets heavier and harder to hold and its load is like the weight of the world and I think my neck is breaking. Should I just give up or try to live up to these expectations? Now look, I love my daughter more than life in itself, but I got a wife that's determined to make my life live in hell, but I handle it well. Given the circumstances I'm dealt, so many chances, man, it's too bad. Could I have someone else? All right, my bad, sorry. For people that know me, if something reminds me of a lyric, I just go off. It's like I have Asperger's with musical ability. Let's end, the, let's end this shit on a positive note. Here are some posts on Facebook and some memes on Facebook that I do like. Boom, this one right here. Oh my God. This one took me back, way back. Jerome, Jerome, put on that old Bobby Womack. Nah, girl, I wanna go way back. Check this out. Let's take a minute of silence for all the food that we've lost. And boy, did I ever give a true mo moment of silence for these lost, forgotten relics and gems. 3D Doritos and that little shit you can put in the cup holder in the car while you're sitting in the back seat jamming music because your parents are driving you to practice. That shit was so clutch, that little <sighs> And then we had the, the rain. That's Sobe water before Sobe water. That's vitamin water before vitamin water. Pizzerias, not gonna lie, that one was probably a little fucking nasty. I should have known because Kellogg's was trying to make chips. Stay in your lane, Kellogg's. Don't begin too crazy now. And then the rest, I could do without the rest. But those two in the middle, top, top, middle, top, right? Those made me the man I am today. <laughs> Dead center. Memphis Reigns is hands down the best Nicolas Cage name in any movie, period. This is straight facts. Memphis Reigns? It sounds like he was born to boost cars. It sounds like if anybody could boost 50 cars in a 24 hour period, it would be this man. All right, people, we're down to the last one for the night. This post put my mind at ease. It made me feel so happy when I read it. So inspirational, so uplifting. And here it is right here. Triple meat, triple cheese on Texas toast. Yeah, we got toast named after us. Hate on it, bitch. With jalapenos, grilled onions, patty melt sauce, onion rings, and a Powerade with a bunch of spicy ketchup. Please and thank you. Sincerely, a happy Texan emoji carrot nose happy face. If that isn't the most beautiful Texas post I have ever read in my life, I'm just as proud of this post as when they stepped over the line drawn in the sand at the Alamo. Blue bonnets sprung up in the middle of winter around his house 
as he was typing this out. An armadillo delivered his Whataburger to his house for free. That's how Texas this post is. That's all I got to say about this week on my Facebook feed, guys. If you like this, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, f you. Just kidding. Either way, subscribe because you don't judge a book by its cover. You don't judge a YouTube channel by one video. Browse through that shit. Look at the other videos. Until next time, peace out.